some of the most, I would say, most important trends uh, in the industry is is really a, a, a migration to more and more uh, automation in the field uh, from going uh, beyond the substation all the way to the meter and into the homes. So the, the automation then is uh, being used uh, further now across the utility to different departments, uh, well beyond meter reading, well beyond just the engineers with the SCADA systems. So more of a, a cross a pollination of the data uh, coming from the automation programs in the field. On, on the mobile side, it really serves two, two primary focuses. One is voice, mobile voice communications. We think it's always going to be there at an at electric utility, and it truly is as mission critical as, as, uh, as there is an application. You need to have the dispatchers talking to guys in the trucks. It becomes especially important when there's an outage situation. And some of that technology is, is under change, uh, but most of it, the preference is to have licensed uh, infrastructure that is, that is owned and maintained by the utility. Uh, with a mobile network, you need backbone communications. You need backbone communications to haul the data from your towers eventually back to your, to the, to your dispatch centers. And therefore, it's typically microwave or wireless or higher speed broadband technology. That's where we're seeing a convergence. So over those backbone networks, over those links uh, that can uh, haul uh, multiple applications, we're seeing IP-based communications infrastructure. And therefore, you have an opportunity to bring in your AMR, your SCADA, your DA, your metering, all of that over a common infrastructure. And that's kind of the way to make the one plus one equal six, is a way to kind of bring together the media, bring together the applications over the common media.